point, I, I decided to make a video montage. I started recording, but I got a little glimpse, <laughs> glimpse of Chi-Chi in the background. <laughs> Start over. For eight months, we have been planning a surprise. Two surprises. Surprise number one, we're going to Yellowstone with Tim McGraw tickets. My dad has no idea. Surprise number two is right back <laughs> there. Chi-Chi. Chi-Chi. Chi-Chi is surprise number two. So it's a combined birthday, Christmas. Christmas, and also we just wanted to go to the concert in Yellowstone. In Yellowstone. See daddy. need t-shirts. <laughs> How about you want me to say? Yes, okay, thank you. Thank you for saying that. I'll get my queen. Oh, she's wearing it. I'm wearing it. Yeah. That's part of this uh, part of the yeah. What are you doing? We're going to unzip like Superman and show our t-shirts. Uh, okay. It says, we surprised our dad with Tim McGraw tickets. And then, oh yeah, and then, okay, there. Yeah, you look really weird and bad. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, we have matching t-shirts for all four of us. What are the variations? So it's ours say, we surprised our dad with Tim McGraw tickets. tickets. Daddy says, dad. <laughs> we had a few options for the son-in-law. Well, I wanted it to say, I surprised their dad with Tim McGraw tickets. And then I said it should say, not my dad. <laughs> so his just says, F H plus T M. Tim McGraw for me is my earliest musical memory. That is the artist I first remember. Which is weird because in my era, everyone I knew was listening to Backstreet Boys and In Sync, Britney Spears. Britney Spears. Ninety-eight degrees. Ninety-eight <laughs> degrees. My most prominent memory of knowing and being familiar with music was Tim McGraw. Greatest hit CD. Yep. It's like a like a reddish tone color. Yep, the you hat. see his chin and his black hat. Yep. And I know like every single song on that and I listen to that CD all the time. And then one year, way later, when I was in college, I needed to drive my car out from Connecticut to Idaho. I was going through all of my dad's CDs, all the Tim McGraw CDs, and burning them onto my laptop. There was a song I hadn't heard, which was Telluride, and it was a great song, and I googled it, and it's a city in Colorado, so I ended up going there on my road trip out to Idaho because of the Tim McGraw song. To this day, it is one of my favorite places I have ever visited. Show me. Show me what you did. <laughs> Oh, uh. <laughs> if you're unfamiliar, Tim McGraw and Faith Hill are the number one. They're basically like the the country uh, Beyonce and Jay Z, but like forever. Longer. But for a long time, we we talked about if Tim and Faith were to ever go on tour together, that we 100% absolutely had, to, had go. to go last. August, they announced that they were touring together in 2017. Texted her, and I was like, hey, these are the Connecticut dates, these are the Utah dates, and to figure out when we're gonna go. She never knows where she's gonna be at any given point. So we decided to go to Bozeman, Montana, Montana, and bring Daddy along with us as a surprise. Also, he's the reason we like country music. Yes, the reason I know Tim McGraw was because of that. Yeah, he raised us on 90s country. And in Connecticut, there's only one country station in the whole state. They specialize in new country music. <laughs> it's very upsetting. Yeah. There had been times in the past where I had my schedule almost aligned to go to a Tim McGraw concert, but then it would weirdly not work out, whereas like I was in Idaho and he was performing in Connecticut, and then he would immediately fly from Connecticut to Idaho <laughs> at the same time I finished my semester and flew back to Connecticut. Tim, why are you doing yeah. that? And okay, seeing Tim McGraw in concert has been on my bucket list. Like, I can show you tangible proof. <laughs> has been on my bucket list for maybe a decade, maybe more. And then I, a few years ago, went to a Rascal Flatts concert because we had such bad seats. I updated my bucket list to say I wanted to see Tim McGraw and have really good seats. Majorly stressed the day that the ticket sales opened so that we could get really good seats. We did. We are in row 14 on the floor. <laughs> the road from Provo to 
yellow stem. Driver, mustard shirt, looking really wet, but better. Okay, cool. So let's talk about how we think Daddy's going to react. Well, why don't you start? Because <laughs> you're the one who brought yeah, it up. Is, I don't think he gets surprised or excited. But I think the fact that you're in the trunk in a buffalo, yeah, a buffalo suit, suit, he'll be like, oh my word, <laughs> you Ryan kids lying to me. Ron kids? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so he might. I've never, called, I've never been called You've never person. been called that by him? I think he'll say, oh my word. Or and he'll then... just be, he'll just act confused. Or he won't get it. <laughs> <laughs> what about the Tim McGraw tickets? I think he'll be excited about the Tim McGraw tickets. He figures that I'm coming, so he probably thinks it's just going to be like, yeah, yay, yeah. weekend with kids in Yellowstone. And that's why we did it in the order that we yeah. did it in, because he'll think that the surprise is Yeah, over. he'll think that it's just me. And then it's actually... Surprise, it's actually... But... It's I don't have no, I'm not negative Nancy. I'm just wondering if you'll cry. He you might cry. And then you'll cry. <laughs> and you'll just laugh and everyone will cry. Chi Chi will cackle. I actually know how to have Chi Chi will cackle. Chi Chi's first buffalo. Chi Chi's first buffalo. <laughs> Apparently it makes her sound like a monkey. Nope. Chi Chi's getting changed into her buffalo costume. No, we are stuck in a massive amount of traffic. Explain what's happening right now. Okay, we're moving the stuff out of the trunk so that we can put Chi Chi in the trunk. How much space? I, don't, I feel like I can put it. <laughs> okay, now. Back to the oh. practice face of what face will make them. Okay. Is she gonna get clipped when we close it though? No, because it clips is here. <laughs> it's so scary. It's gonna look like we murdered someone and brought them. Okay, remember, screen, scream if you're in danger. Okay, wait, there's people. Close it. <laughs> okay, we just put Chi Chi in the trunk. Oh gosh, I've never driven with a human in my trunk before. Are really quiet. We can hear Chi Chi. You can hear her muffled sobs. <laughs> okay, you can't laugh when yeah. we are surprising him. Yeah. So get it all out now. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> she went silent. You okay? Knock knock. We have. You have to come out. Yes. We have a. Surprise for you. No, no. but kind of close. <laughs> you brought me a buffalo in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo. <laughs> Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and there's a part two. There's part two. Part two? Yeah. Oh, come on, here, just yeah. Go yeah, yeah. Dry part. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm gonna go for. Okay, there, it's. Oh, wait, wait, I'll come, I'm over here. Sorry, I had to tie it because of the Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Whoa! We're going tomorrow! Tomorrow! Yeah! We're going to go see kids! 
<laughs> That's why you didn't get a Christmas present. <laughs> or, or a birthday, birthday present. present. Probably not a Father's Day present. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel? Unreal. <laughs> This is the morning of the concert, and of course, Emily and Chi Chi are getting ready. They're taking a long time. The men are ready, but they're not. Please imitate what the bear looked like, since I didn't get it on the <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much what it was like. We're on our way to the concert. You know there's just something about you, you bright and mighty. Okay, we're here and we're waiting for the concert to start. We're in the arena. Let's pass the camera down. Say something to the camera. Hello, camera. Hi. Say something about... I'm so excited. I'm the young guy. You're what? I'm the young guy here. He's the young guy here. Okay, good. Excellent. <laughs> so we're making sure that we sit up really proper so that hopefully, hopefully Tim will see the shirts and invite us up on stage. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. It could happen. Maybe. If we sit up straight, it might happen. Here's something I've learned about Tim McGraw fans. They're all white and middle-aged. <laughs> oh yeah. So good.